Welcome to another Zure Guy video where hands on learning is priority one. I am an Azure administrator, an Azure security engineer, as well as an Azure solutions architect. Question number nine defining and querying labels. Create three different pods with the names of web batch and database, and then use the, Im and use the image of Nginx. Then you're going to declare some labels for these pods as follows. List the pods and their labels. The next task, use label selectors to query for all production belonging to women batch. And then we we're going to remove the labeled tier from the database pod. Sounds like a pretty good question. Let's get started. Okay, welcome to question number nine. And our first task here is create three different pods with the names of a web batch and database. And then use the image of Nginx and we're going to declare some labels for them. So let's see here, I'll do a kubectl run. Let's just see if we do a help here. We find anything useful. Let's see, yeah, look at that, labels. Very useful there, right? Basically, it's what we want. So format, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and clear my screen. Up arrow. And we want image equal to Nginx. Labels equal environment equals prod and tier equals web. Now, I want to create files for these. It's going to take a little longer, but I just like that approach. So I'm going to do dry dash run equals client. Now, if I was on the actual exam, I'd probably just do the run, but I think this is good practice. And we're going to call this q9web.yaml. Uh, let's see. Unknown flag. Ah, uh, here we go. Yep, of course, we gotta give it a name. Web. All right, so now we could change this to batch and this to batch and then this to batch and then we want one more and we'll call this database tier database and of course this database enter now of course we haven't actually made anything yet except for three files let's just take a cool look at our one of our files here And you can see it created the labels for us, just for general knowledge. It's under metadata. And that's about it. Pretty simple, pretty good. I'm gonna close. Now we'll do a kubectl create. And q9web yaml. Then we'll change this to batch. Then change this to database. And we'll do a. <laughs> if I put my hands in the right location on the keyboard, get pods. And looking pretty good. Did we satisfy everything on the first task? I think we did. All right, so we'll move on to. Well, let's see, the second task is a list of pods and their labels. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
Just do that in this task. QCTL get pods. Let's say you had no clue what was going on. You can see there's some help here. A lot of screen. I think actually a better way, uh, let me clear the screen, would be not help, but autocompletes. Get pods. How about that? Yeah, put the two dashes. And you think maybe look under labels. Well, nothing label columns sound about right. But this is what you want. Show labels. And I think there is there at all? Nope, I thought you so show labels. And there we go. So you got the label shown and we just complete task one and two. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, we're on question, task number three, question nine. We want to use some label selectors, query for all production belonging to Web and Batch. So let's do a cube CTL get pod slash L. Get that out of the way. And we're going to say env in prod tier tier in and we just say web. Oh, we forgot a end quote here. We just get the web. So we want web and batch. So, and there you go. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right, on to the final task. Okay, on to our final task for this question, and we want to remove the label tier from a database pod. So this is where we'll use the kubectl label command, kubect label pod database, and we want to get rid of tier. So a little dash after it. And if we do a kubectl get pods show labels you can see tier is gone so little little uh, question about labels and querying them and editing them all right on to question number 10 i suppose see you there